Hi, this is Derek Tangren from the Adobe Analytics product team. I'm going to walk through a great new feature that we recently included inside Customer Journey Analytics that gives you the ability to work with date and date time fields. Prior to this recent release, in order to have a date or a date time value in Customer Journey Analytics, it needed to be set up as a string in the data schema. This made it difficult to modify how the data was displayed and made for a lot of work if you wanted to zero in on a specific range of dates or date times for your analysis. In some cases, it could mean pulling the data into Excel and manually sorting it to try to get at the right information. Let's review some of the new functionality to show you some of the cool things we can now do with this added support to make it much, much easier to work with date or date time fields. The first thing you'll notice in your schema browser within data views is that there are new date and date time formats that will be visible. Next, you'll also notice under the format settings, we have a plethora of options in how to display the date or date time field. In this case, we are looking specifically at a date time field, but similar options are available for date fields. This means I can use a single field but have multiple dimensions that display the same underlying data in different ways. In this case, maybe I want to display my data so I can see the difference between weekend or weekday check-ins. In another dimension, I can configure to display down to the minute of day when my customers are checking in. Another powerful option we've made available is the support of include and exclude logic with date and daytime fields. Within the include exclude logic, you're able to specify values that are later than or before a selected set of dates or date times. We'll start with a basic report showing the time and the date where some of our customers have checked in, displaying by minute. Let's go into our data view and update how we want to have this data displayed. This set of data spans from the 7th of October through the 10th. As we head back into our data view, we are going to only include data from the weekend. To begin with, let's start by including only that data from the weekend, Saturday the 8th and Sunday the 9th. We set our include exclude filter to be later than or equal to Saturday the 8th at 12 a.m. and before or equal to Monday the 10th at 12 a.m. We'll then save and close the data view. We can see we now only have the data showing for the 8th and the 9th. While this is interesting, we're actually more interested in a higher level view. We go back into data views and instead of minute, we'll change the format to be weekday, weekend. We'll also disable our include exclude values to display the whole set of data. Then we'll save and close the data view. We can now easily see the difference between our weekday and weekend check-ins. These are just a couple of short examples of how to put the new date and date time support to use. We're excited to hear how you'll use it to gain further insights into your future analyses. Thanks for watching.